Welcome back friends to another Alchemy Star video, Lids87 here, and in today's video I'm just going to be talking to you guys about my A3 Sinza. I just, he's my very first A3 unit in the game, and we're, I'm just going to do a little bit of gameplay, and then we are going to just continue doing some pulls on the banner. Now before I do get started, before I do get started friends, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button as it does help out the channel. Now, I did start off in this game, literally, I want to say like a week, week and a half late into the game. So, Sinza here is literally my very first A3 character. I was able to A3 him due to the current event that we do have. And they, out, they also have materials there also for Eve. So, it's possible that you guys can get Eve all the way to A3 if you're lacking a Thunder unit and if you picked her up from the banner. Now, I've been, I've been really enjoying Sinza here on, on my... Uh, mediocre fire team I'm gonna say because my other my focus has been my frost and thunder team but I have been enjoying him so far and from what I can tell he's definitely a boss nuker especially if they take up multiple tiles so those of you not familiar with what he does with his first skill is you're gonna select one tile all right now that I actually understand how it works from trying him out you're gonna pick a direction and whatever direction you you pick he's pretty much going to do fan shaped damage all the way to the end of the stage the closer the enemy is to you the more damage you're gonna do and hopefully you guys get to see it right now when i do some gameplay and there's two tiles based on the direction that you pick there's like one tile and second tile and vice versa in all directions and across shape i'm sorry yeah and you're right in north south east and west and if you pick the outermost tile he's gonna jump forward one tile and then cast the ability so this ability can hit hard and if you just pick up one duplicate you can get this to a preemptive state so you can literally use it right off the bat probably clearing a lot of these earlier uh, spire stages chain combo is just gonna do diamond shape uh, damage around him radial shape damage and his equipment is that he can hit diagonally and whenever he hits enemies with his normal normal attacks active skills and chain combos he's going to inflict a stack on the target that's just going to lower the enemy's defense by currently right now it's two percent based off of sins's own basic defense all right so not a bad over not, not a bad unit overall now currently my formation right now for my fire composition is this can be nails as my sniper sinza at the moment he is my dps i have faust i have isvan and i have alice alice is my primary healer now Fire is not my strongest team at the... Well, I guess now it is due to Sinza, but it's not my strongest team. I did start off when I first played the game. I was re-rolling for the Frost team, so I got Carlene, Vice, Hydred, uh, Phyllis, Shy, and Serial. So this team literally carried me all the way up to 813, 814. I was having trouble with because I still have to 83 Carlene here. And then this is the team that was able to do a 814 for me, and I was able to climb up to... At least uh, 30 on the Spire, I could go higher, but I wanted it for the Old Seal uh, Legendary Aurorian because I picked the Thunder 1 for the Thunder team, so I had to get Spire 30 out of the way. So, the, ideally for the Fire team, like if I was able to pick up some other units, this is what I would definitely try to go for. So first and foremost, let me move my big ass forward for you guys. Now, this is the team that I would definitely want. I'm going to leave this link down below in the description for you guys if you guys would love to check out this website for yourself. Wonderful website, beautiful website where you can see the units. You can literally go filter by uh, by element here, by rarity, by by the by the character's role, so on and so forth. You could try to put a party together. You copy the URL, send the URL to someone else, save it for yourself where you your generate a URL that will save what units you already have stored up. Now, this is the team that I would definitely want if I would want to put together a fire team now first and foremost Sinza of course you guys saw damage especially a boss killer the other unit that I have on here is going to be Icy I believe that's how you pronounce her name correctly and she is a converter for two turns she does have preemptive preemptive built into her kit and this is going to convert the nearest four the nearest four blue and green tiles to red so that's going to start opening up the field for you right off of the bat this other unit that I, uh, I do have Faust Isvan I already have so Faust himself is a five star and he's also another converter he's going to convert the four nearest yellow tiles to red and there's going to be a chance to generate up to two enhanced tiles and with his with his equipment there's a chance for him to inflict fright on the enemies for one round which could play to your benefit or against you depending on your team composition because if you don't have enough converters on your team and you're, and you're scaring the enemies away you're not going to be able to get close enough to attack them. 
The other unit, of course, is fine here, kind of works like Hydra. He does, he actually, he's a fire version of Hydra, I should be saying. Whereas he can allow, with his active skill, your party members to trigger their chain combo twice. The second one being less stronger than the first one. And the very last unit that I would want here on my team composition is going to be Victoria herself. Because Victoria is, there, there's healing based off of how many bleed stacks are on the target. So, now if you don't have none of these uh, other units here. Ideally, uh, what I could see potentially work for this team composition. Let's see, you did, you did, you did happen to pick up Sins. Of course, some of these other units, if you have them. Uh, for what I have currently right now, Brock or uh, Peppy could potentially work because Brock is going to aggro the enemies towards you. And since having the capability to attack diagonally, you're going to be attacking these enemies all the way around. You're literally going to be dancing circles around them. And the fact that he can lower the enemy's defense, that is going to come into play. Or you can go with, with uh, Peppy here, who has the capabilities to teleport you to a different tile every single turn. Her cooldown is at a zero turn cooldown. And with her equipment, she does have a stack that you could teleport even further, depending on how many stacks. But once you use her active skill once, the stacks go away. But being able to just reposition yourself for one tile, it could put you in a better spot to attack the enemies all right friends so i so again ideally this is a team that i would want but some of these other alternatives based again because my team at the moment is not the strongest that i have hopefully with some multi draws later down the line as the game progresses that is what the team this team right here is what i can strive for all right friends so let me uh th so the game plan i'm just going to do here unfortunately it's not going to be one of those uh super hard stages because i'm not there quite yet with this team quite yet but I'm, I'll probably just take on a few Spire stages and then we're going to go do some pulls because I am actually close to the Pity Amount for my last video. I was able to acquire Sinza quite early when I was pulling on the banner and I realized that I did an additional like 30 pulls. So I just need 20 more pulls and I'm pretty much near the Pity or the Pity starts the, the uh, rate for a 6 star to appear is going to start to accumulate. I would love to pick up a duplicate Sinza if possible because of his active skill being able to activate it preemptively either what that or if i pick up eve that is fine with me so let's let's just try out this stage friends all right and we'll see how it goes i'm just going to activate this right now now there are a couple of options that i could definitely do here i could either take out this eggy over here go over here attack this egg right there uh i could probably try to kill this one right off the bat right now so let's see if we can go ahead and do that just circle around we're going to hit diagonally break some of these rocks the entire team is going to be a part of this, so there's that. And the great thing about Sinza 2 that I love is that he has my favorite element as a secondary, which is going to be Thunder, so that's beautiful. So when there are only yellow tiles out on the floor, I switch over to Nails for that long-range damage. And then Nails and Sinza will both be attacking, which is beautiful. So let me, what do I want to do here? See, so this is where Pe Peppy could potentially come into play. So I could hop over a tile over here and, and start collecting some of these. Yep, no, that'd be horrible. Let me go this way. Uh, that was a little bit further. No, yeah, I could teleport a little bit. Maybe potentially start collecting some of those yellow tiles, so on and so forth. But I'm going to go this way and start doing some damage over here. So I killed off one of the little healers. Let's see how much damage he does here. Yeah, he pretty much just knocked it out. So I should be able to collect all these yellow tiles over here. I'm going to switch over to my nail. And then hopefully start circling back around. Let's see what we can do. Nope. So what I want to do... Stop it. I want to go this way. Grab these. Grab these if possible. Do I want to end up down there? Yes, I kind of do. And this should be enough to hit that one. Yes. So there's a possible chance I might be able to kill off that bottom egg at the right down there. Not bad. Ooh. But I did pick up an Aurora in time. So um, I do have one more turn, but I hope I don't have to. I think this should be enough to kill it, even if I do end up over here. Yeah, that should be more than enough. And my active skill for Sinza is going to pop up, so you guys will be able to see that AoE that he could potentially do. Alright, now... Whew, where am I? I could start converting, so... Let me convert these, because he could only convert yellow tiles, unfortunately. That's why I would love Icy, just 
her being able to convert two types of elements into red is very beneficial. I think I'm going to go this way because I want to destroy these rocks because there are some red tiles there. If uh, So this is what I was talking about earlier. So when you activate the active skill, so you either pick this and he'll deal in... He'll deal damage in that direction, or you could pick the one further away, and he will literally move up one tile and still slam down. But the closer the enemy is, the more damage he's going to do. Actually, can he one-shot? Can he one-shot this one? Let me move up. Let me see if he can, if he can one-shot it. Oh, yeah. At this early in the game, yeah, he definitely can, so. All right, let me start making my way up over here. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm just gonna poison this one. Okay, I don't know if having my healer here with nails, because the lower nails H, or the lower the HP is, the more damage nails does with his damage. Or the more attack and defense, I should be saying, if I remember correctly. So I might switch over to nails here, so for the long distance sniper. And I am looking to take the green path over here. If possible. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to trigger... No, and there is no green path over here, so I'm just gonna have to stay here. Unfortunately, that's fine. Yeah, see, this is where some of those other units that can convert more tiles were, would come into hand. Or even Pe uh, Peppy, having her on the team, just being able to reposition myself for one tile would come in handy. So these are... Okay. I wonder if I can just get an Aurora in time here. No, that's too far away. And they, they don't connect over here. So um, let's start attacking this one over here. That should kill it off. I have a few more turns. I'm not going to get rid of that. And Nails hopefully can start killing off this one. So let's make our way this way over to the green because I could take the green path down there to him. Destroy these rocks, get, get him out of the way. And it was frightened. So see, this is where I was talking about in that situation where it could work against you because now they start running away from you. Actually, let's move up one path. You should be able to kill it. So, okay, did not kill it. Let's go ahead and bleed it. There we go. So overall, Senza is able to carry, but some of these other units, I'm still questioning that I want to switch out. I've been seriously considering that three-star Peppy just to add around to the team composition. Just, again, that one tile a turn just moving around could definitely benefit a lot. I've noticed that Isvan, so far, get, these are still the earlier levels here in the later, the more longer boss fights he will more than likely come in handy especially if it's bosses that have multiple they cover multiple tiles he could definitely come in handy but right now he's not useful for me this is beautiful this is beautiful so let's if I convert tell you what so what's running through my mind is I want to kind of take this path over here. But let's just make the entire team fight. Let's make the entire team fight. So. I do want to end up right here. Because I don't want this thing to keep spawning its little babies. Oh, really? This is where I might get slowed down, fam. I would have to work on my other characters. This is it right here. Oh, it's the stage where we have to destroy the rocks. 
That's what it is. Okay, I hate this stage. All right, so in this stage, you have to destroy the rocks and you get some of these uh, items where you do damage to everything else. So ideally... All right, let's see if I'm able to do this. Luckily, I did get some blues here, so if this doesn't block my path... This one just stole that one, unfortunately. I should be able to destroy these other ones. Oh, I just missed that last one. I might be able to take the red path or even the green. Shit, see, this is why I hate this stage. So this one, this one takes a little bit of a higher mind to try to destroy these in time and kill them. Uh, ooh. Curious. That still did a good chunk of damage to them. So let's go ahead and take the... Yellow path here. I'm gonna stay near the green. Because I should be able to take the green over here to this other one down here. Oh, it's dead. Okay. Alright, so I should be able to snag these up. Should is a key word. One of them lived. Let's go ahead and save the red ones. I'm gonna circle back down here though. Let's use Nail just so both of them can be attacking. I kind of want to stay... Um, It really depends on what the, this one's gonna be. So I'm just gonna circle around here. Oh crap. Okay. Um. So I literally have to destroy all of these. My his skill is almost up. So let's go ahead and let's poison. Let's poison the frost. So what's running through my mind is I need to end up. I'm gonna end up on this side of the field. Oh, I could have used his to destroy the other rocks. I want to end up on this side of the field, so Sinza, I can just try to nuke the rest of the field with his ability, if possible. So let's go to the furthest point. This might work. This might work. Okay, there's a little bit of healing. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is kind of tricky. This will destroy everything. If I hop over one more, I can't really because this damn bug's in the way. Alright. Let's see if this kills it. Okay. I can grab all of them. I can grab all of them. And I should be able to pick up an Aurora in time. This should kill everything, I hope. Tell you what, let's go ahead and... Trigger everything twice, because this is an AoE. Nope, I did that wrong. Wait, time out, time out. Wrong way. Grab these. There we go, this is what I did. Oh, and I'm missing one right there. Okay, I might be able to circle. Yeah, I'll be able to circle around right now and grab through all the red tiles. I love this spire because it's like you have to think about things. I know that there's a few that I found very interesting. It was for sure this one and the mirror boss. Yeah, I don't have to do this twice, but it should be dead here. 
out. That that was pretty fun. So nice, nice damage from Sins. A nice uh, board cover, especially if you're for really far away or at least on the edges of the board. And you can hit a lot of it on here. All right, friends. So let, let's go ahead and just do some summons. That, that'll be it for the video, friends. All right. This is going to be my, I guess, really first attempt talking about a character in the game. And I've been really enjoying the game so far. So we'll see if we cover the game going forward. I know there's been a few others, but like this guy RPG, I'm really bored of it. I'm not going to lie. So... All right, friends. Um, so I, again, I am gonna try to go up to the pity amount for the six star here. If it's another Senza, that's awesome. If it's icy, I wouldn't mind an off banner, right? Or non-featured, I should say. If it's Eve, that's fine too, because she would fit beautifully in my Thunder team. So let's go with the 10 times. I'm just doing this to speed up the process. You guys, I mean, just do one at a time. It'll work better for you. And let's see if we could get that six star here. Oh, not even a five star. That's horrible. That's horrible. At least I got another duplicate of Brock. I think that might be the last one that I needed. I think that was the last one that I needed. So there's that. Okay, now this one should be should start um, increasing the chance. So after that, I'll start doing singles. If this is not the six star. That's a five star, right? Yeah, that's a five star. Yep, five star. Let's see who it is and then we'll skip the rest. I might have you. Sikari? Yeah, I already have you. Okay. That's fine. Yep, there we go. Start. It's starting to increase, so let's just keep doing singles until we get that six star. Nope. That's fine. Oh, there it is. All right, who is it going to be? I'm okay with Icy, right? I'm okay with Sinza. I'm okay with Eve. Eve! Hey, there we go! Okay, I got both of them. That's fine with me. I'll be able to A3 her from the current event. That is beautiful. It'll be my first A3 Thunder unit, and that'll go. She's gonna carry the shit out of my Thunder team, and that's fire, so. Awesome. Uh, yeah, we're having lots of fun, and of course, the it all reset. Alright, friends, so that is it for this video, friends. Thank you guys for sticking around. Uh, I, I greatly appreciate it. This is, again, my first take on trying to look at a unit, trying to, I guess, give some advice using him out on the field in ideal teams or an ideal team to put Sinza with. I just got Eve. I'll see if I can A3 her hopefully this weekend. Um, and if I do, maybe I'll do some gameplay for her. If you guys would love to see that, let me know down below in the comments. And of course, let me know down below if you guys pulled for these units and if you guys have been enjoying them. All right, friends. So until next time, good luck and... Have a good one.